It was a beautiful day. You could feel the heat from the volcano. What are your most vivid memories from the day itself? The most vivid would be, I guess, having that belief that everything was going to be okay. I knew what could happen out there, but you don't believe it will happen. They said, oh, Takati just erupted. Uh, is everything going to be okay? And I said, yeah, well, I haven't heard from my brother, so he'll let me know if there's, if there's nothing, if there's something wrong, you know? The realisation when I was flying inside the volcano that I saw uh, what looked like a person lying down turned into be a person and then was surrounded by uh, a lot of other people in that same area. You know, it dawned there that uh, we had a, a greater catastrophe on our hands with uh, so many people lying about in the, in the middle of the volcano. I heard the call, there's people on the island and she's erupting. The heat alone was just unbearable. The burns went through all my clothes. We were dealing with people who are going to die within the next hour or so. This is a staff nightmare, so my dear. At this stage, it is too dangerous for police and rescue services to go to the island. Now, I was down there at the time, and, you know, from some of your workers, actually, there was a lot of frustration um, about the way that things were, were handled. Yeah, you know, I think everyone was shortchanged. We knew what we were doing. Um, we had another eight people to um, you know, take off the island and uh, we were told to stand down. In hindsight, we wouldn't have listened to that. We should have just carried on. And um, I, I think we would have, uh, well, I don't think I know that we would have been able to get everyone home that day. And uh, I think out of everything, that's the biggest regret that uh, we all have. Mark, right now, looking at the island, what are you thinking? The recovery mission that could be done is perfect conditions to go out. It's gut-wrenching. You can see the gas coming up from the crater, getting over that crater rim, and then you can see the gas getting blown to the northwest, and you can make out that clear line of gas. There's nothing on the side of the island where we have to be. And for Hayden Inman, you know, his, his body's never been found. Do you think you would have got that body back to the Inman family? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I found him on the day and uh, Tommy moved him uh, just out of harm's way with the, the acidic uh, stream there. Um, yeah, well, we'd have just, uh, we would have just picked him up and, and, uh, and brought him home, just like uh, the other seven. Is there anything you wish you could say to your brother Hayden right now? Just a hi. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That'll be it. Just hello. Um, yeah, I guess. And I love you. Yeah, and um, yeah, I'm sure he. Yeah, I'm sure he hears that, mate. I'm sure he hears that. Yeah, we, we tell him every time we're out there, and we also say thank you too. You know. Thank you for his efforts on the island that day um, to do his best to, to, to keep everyone, um, you know, as safe as they could. We urgently need help out here. We just keep finding more survivors. I couldn't believe that I was hearing parikura, we call it tragedy. In terms of being part of a really big film, you know, why do that? What, what made you want to do that? Well, when Netflix approached me, it was about um, showing how a community comes together in a, in a crisis situation, um, which is huge for me. It was really about the people and how they responded to it. You know, both the people who who found it in themselves somehow to survive it, as well as the everyday people who were on the island. And ultimately, they ended up having to rely on each other. You know, with a community like Fakatani, you know, they rallied around for not only that day, the week after, the month after, but, you know, they're still showing their true support now, even. Do, do you think we should allow tourism back on the island? Yeah, I 100% do think we should go back to the island. We've always said it was at the right place, but at the wrong time. I have no, I, we'd have no issue with uh, tourism starting back up on the island. Mark, it's been three years now. You know, how's the healing going? It's going to be a slow journey going out to the island. Uh, Every, every 
every year and treasuring some of those memories, it's a healing when you go out there, you know. And I guess I've always counted myself lucky that to have a monument such as Fakati out there to see your brother is something special. Project tonight, everyone. We're joined by Bravo NZ host Dominic Bowden. Yeah. Nice to see you, Dom. Yeah. And a pretty heavy, pretty sad story. Yeah. First up, I've got to ask you. I mean, you um, spent a lot of your time in the US and some time here in New Zealand as well. Do you remember where you? Yeah, were I, it's happened? kind of weird because when you're in America and something like that happens, where they're reporting about the country that you're from. It's weird, it's overwhelming, and I just have that memory of feeling like just so far away from home. Yeah. Mm. You know? So it was reported over there. Obviously, there's a bit of international interest given this Netflix documentary. Yeah, and the fact that Leonardo DiCaprio and Ron Howard are producing this thing, that wow. means to me, obviously, it's incredible, but it means that it's really going to be seen, the story, by a global audience, which is incredible. Yeah, and I guess an indication that they feel the story should be shared with the global audience. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the doco is called The Volcano Rescue from Vacation. Uh, and it'll be available on Netflix from December 16th. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see it because it's such a crazy time. Like, it was, um, you know, it was lead up to Christmas holidays, mm. but also the mosque attacks had just happened. Same there was year. Aussie bushfires, uh, like, around the same time. Like, the sky turned red. Then we went into COVID and lockdowns for the first time. It was just a... I feel it kind of got a bit lost. And, and it would be so cool to see this docker and hopefully this... We'll, we'll give it the moment that it deserves, you know. Shine a light on, mm. on all of those families and the people of Whakatane mm. who were involved.